So the thing, uh, the significance of family for you guys, uh, you know, working together, how is it you define that, the significance of having, yes, you have family, but it's in business as well together. How, what is the significance of that? Um, it's a key pillar in our lives. Mm -hmm. I think uh, very much so for me and Nir, and all four of us together. It's always, it's always been family first. Uh, we've grown up in a culture, we've grown up in a, you know, in a family setting where it's, it's, it's very important to respect you know, the family and, and appreciate them more so than, you know, for, for who they are and what they've done for you. Mm. And I think you know, whether you look at it from any angle, any walk of life, whether it's work, <coughs> whether it's social, whether it's any support mechanism, I think you know, your family will always stand by you mm. in, in, in the good times and most importantly in the bad times. And from a work perspective, I think what's, what's been amazing for the three of us is that we're absolutely on the same page. Mm -hmm. You know, we are very clear where we want to take the group. We are very clear where we want to take each individual business within the group. We're very clear about what, what play we want in different sectors. And we're very clear about, um, you know, what our three to five year plan is. And I think yeah. um, it's, and, and, and I'm very proud to say that, you know, that, that you know, we're all aligned. Um, you often find that, and you know, we've seen many cases where because that alignment is missing, because that understanding is missing, that you know, things actually go astray. Don't work. And a good point you make because I was going to put it this to you. For Asians, you see many of them will be in business together as family, um, but it's not so with many others. Some Africans, it will fall apart, but Asians have this one thing that appears to really work. What would you say is the I secret? I think it's just basically family cultures that... Uh, works with the family. Mm. But I, I'm beginning to see this now in the African families as well, that there is some kind of a continuity that comes as far as business is concerned as well. Yeah. I can see it happening. That is happening. Yeah. So it's not this one secret that uh, these people have in terms of business and has been working for you. Okay. I think there's two real elements here. Mm. One is the value system. You appreciate and respect that you know, when, you're, when your dad or when your parents say something, it, you've got to take it on board and you appreciate it for what it is. And then there's the element that I think the, the newer generation is now bringing to the business, which is professionalization. Mm. Realizing that family and business are two separate entities and must be treated so. So professionalizing it, you know, having a professional board and realizing that, look, you know, yes, from a continuity perspective, this is how it's going to continue. So mm. when you when, when family businesses are not willing or not capable or for whatever reason don't want to take over and continue, you have professionals who take over yeah. the business and continue it. So succession is always on your mind from the very beginning yes. in terms of how this continues, how this plays out in the long run. Yes, yeah? that's right. Okay. L let's get into the business uh, part of it and um, break it down for us. Chandaria Industries, what does it cover? What business are you in? Okay, do you want to take a Yeah. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> uh, um, so um, I, I, you know, I don't think it's a secret. We are one of the largest uh, privately owned businesses and groups uh, in the region at the moment. Mm -hmm. Chandaria Industries is the largest uh, tissue, paper and hygiene products manufacturer in East and Central Africa. We have manufacturing operations in Kenya, so that operates as Chandaria Industries is Limited. And in <coughs> Tanzania, it operates as Tanpak Tissues Limited. Mm. Um, we sell our products in, in over 15 African countries at the moment. We're also the largest recycler of waste paper in the region. Over the 51 years of our operations, we have saved over 22 million trees. Mm -hmm. And with our expansion programs and what we aim to do over the next five years, we will save another 5 million yeah. trees. And um, it is um, an FMCG business. It's a fast-moving consumer goods business. 